Hi guys and welcome to this little tutorial in PowerDirector 16 and today we're gonna have a look at tracking. Yeah, it was uh, quite annoying finding out how to use the tracking system uh, in PowerDirector but I've uh, done some work with it and it's, uh, it's, it's quite easy when you know how to do it. First off, we have a clip here with a golf ball which we shall track and use different stuff for. So first off, what I do, I cut up the sequence in um, smaller pieces basically, because it's the longer the clip is, the harder it is with the frames and everything. So I usually take and cut it up. So that's what we're gonna do first. So we see the first clip and where we want it. That looks good. Take it there. And we're gonna have the next one. And that's the other one. And let's see on the third. And there we go. There we have three different cuts which we will use in this little tutorial and we're gonna go back and we press on tools and motion tracker this is kinda nitpicky how you do this but I'm gonna try to track the ball if you take it too small it will adjust itself and we're gonna st start the tracking process And as you see, it immediately shot forward. This might be something to do with my flames, but I'm going back to where it shifted. So I'm gonna take it back here and you will see it starts all over again from this part. And I'm gonna press track again. See if we can get a, yeah, he moves because of the flame. And as you can see there, it moved as well. So it can be quite annoying and painful to do this. I wish they had like a second second, uh, so or frame for frame, which I could just press forward and adjust the frame and forward adjust the frame. But you can't do that for some reason. And I'm just stopping to check. I see it blow off again and try to keep it more or less and we're way off so we have to go back where we lost it okay so one more there I guess track it Just try to follow the ball down. And here we have to go back where it bounces upwards. This, I have to go back again. There it's out of sync. And let's just follow the ball. You can adjust this as you please, but the more accurate you are, the better the result will be. Usually, for every minute of game play, doing this with tracking and adding comments and stuff, it um, it's take take all from uh, one to three hours per minute to do so it is very painfully time wise to do this this goes a little bit out of I 
as way off. That wasn't good either. Put it on and stay there. As you can see, <laughs> it is a lot of work. This is why I would like to have a frame for frame which I could do manually. Press the next frame, just adjust this. Next frame, adjust it, next frame. That would actually take lesser time than doing this. And I've noted it, 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 it's, it's not the best tracking system, to be honest. It has serious issues tracking stuff. So you can see there at the end as well. I'm guessing it goes off the color or shape when it shoots forward like this. But let's just take it there. It's not the best, but you get the point. And well, what should we do? Should we? Uh, We can take effects, we can take pictures, or we can take text. Um, we can we can take a effect. You can blur if you want using or spotlight blur. You can blur out. That's the blue line in the middle. You can actually like take that and blur out the timer if you want that, or make a circle with the blur as well. Uh, you can basically do everything. Um, and let's see. You can take spotlight as well to highlight, for example, the bull. I can take that light color, white. Okay. To highlight. We can highlight the bull this time. And that will correspond with the inner square, the white one. This will always stay adjusted to the white square and nothing else. And yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for tracking this object. And we can see it in the replay how it looks. As you can see, it jumps around a bit, but that's how well you want to do it yourself. Um, the reason why I take and cut it up to smaller pieces is because it's basically much easier doing it in small bulks than a long clip. A long clip is very painful to work with. But we will go back to this and we will add, for example, a picture and motion tracker. Again, I'm going to find the spot where I want to track it for. I'm going to start here. And it is going to be... There you go. And we can... Yeah, I just added the... Tr because you can... Take different things as well. I'm gonna take this like that. And now the track starts here, basically. These are start and end for the tracking system. You can add as many trackers as you want. I have only activated this one. And we'll go back and start tracking. I have helped pretty well there. Adjust it a bit. Just trying to keep it center. And I lost it behind the trees. But you can still see it. Let's take this. Let's see if it tracks it better. Okay, so we can stop there actually, like that. And what we can do now is 
put on a angry face ish a picture basically so we're gonna import from hard drive and I'm gonna just see what we have here uh, we can take this one for example put it on the ball this is approximately the size of the ball let's see it follows it yeah that's okay uh, we will just leave the uh, we will just leave this as it is and um, we will go to the last one which we got a hole in one and motion tracker again as always and we do not want to start here we want to start here I guess and we're gonna add some <coughs> text to it see how well it follows it that was not very well at all because it follows the flames Oh, that went not too well, so we will go back a bit. I heard it's starting to lose it. Adjust it again. So, the, like you see down here, the less you take in jumps, the better it will be. If you go like frame to frame and adjust it all the time, it will be pretty good at the end, to be honest. But it is painful because you have to like start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. You can't take a frame for frame. So that is kind of annoying. You can jump like this, and um, but as you see, the tracking device is off. Well, that's pretty decent. Okay, we're going to add text to this. Go in. Yeah, we don't need much more than that. And we want it in... I want it in. say purple and mm, 16 I do not know why I don't see this right now that is kind of weird that I don't see the text it shouldn't be like this uh, stencil Border bold. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there you go. I don't know why you didn't see that, but um, that doesn't matter. Usually, you see the text uh, all, all the time, but we didn't this time, but that's okay. Okay, so now, and as you can see, this, it makes new layers downwards with the tracking system. So if you do this long enough, you will have hundreds of these downwards. And it doesn't just, you can't just go down and go in here, I mean, and uh, to power uh, tools again and think you can delete it. Uh, power tools, I mean motion tracker, of course. You can't just go in here and think that you can delete anything, but uh, you have to do it down here. Now let's see how the clip is. From the beginning. Okay, so that's spotlight, or if you want to uh, blur something. Uh, 
angry face. As you can see, it jumps up and down, and that's basically because of the tracking system isn't always 100% correct. So if you want a better result, you have to take your time and do it a lot slower than I did um, to make it perfect. But like I said, one minute is like one to three hours of editing. Um, this text, you can use effects on it as well. Um, I can take like beating and you just drag beating over the text and you can see how it is. You know, it's like goes back and forth or like a beating heart. And you, you can basically take whatever thing you want, ripple. Well, that doesn't look good, but now it's beating and ripple and we can take uh, sh swing was it? <laughs> totally taking off. Oh, you even saw two there. Let's go back three. Uh, this quake. Uh, that should shake a lot. Yeah. So you can do quite a lot, and it can be quite quite good if you're if you take your time with this. And this goes with everything that you can use. You can also put in your even if, if it's a picture or text, you can just drag and drop it all over the place. Well, anyways, guys, this was a very short and basic tutorial in how to use Motion Tracker. Um, you, as I said, you can... Um, oh, why is this? Tools, Motion Tracker. Yes, yes, that doesn't matter. You can add as many trackers as you want in this. If I want to track this, I just track it. I'm not gonna bother about where it's going right now, but well, I track there and I can add a tracker and say, well, I want something else as well. I want this one, I want this to be text and I want the other one to be a picture and I can track this as well. And then suddenly you have two of them. And um, you can do this over and over again. Just adding trackers and you will see how this works. And you press OK. And it makes more of these downwards on the tracking system. Now I didn't put any tracking system on like text or picture or anything. So it won't register. But you can basically track many objects in the same film. Um, well, I hope this was uh, a bit helpful. I struggled for a long time doing this to understand it. Uh, but I hope this was easy and fast enough for you guys to bother. Just go through and you can play around, it with, play around yourself uh, with it. And figure out more exciting things to do. Well, this is Sneaky Wolfcloth. I'm... Hoping you're having a good, good weekend, and I will see you guys later. Bye.